I know how overwhelming it can be trying to get into technical art in Unreal Engine. It's difficult and time consuming to piece together enough information to create technical artwork. And a lot of times the videos are so technical, it's hard to understand what you just did. Now, if you're an indie dev like me, your time is precious and limited. And you don't want to know how to just make one asset. You want the tools to make whatever asset you can think of without looking up another tutorial. And that's why I created this series. So you won't get overwhelmed looking at this, but you'll quickly read textures, masks, connectors, appliers, all fed into an output. And if the math has slowed you down in the past, I've tried to make the explanations as visual as possible. So after working through the series with me, you should have all the foundational skills you need to create technical art that saves time so you can ship games. In this video, we'll look at what a tech artist is because understanding what we are can help clarify how we think and tips to get the most out of your learning, whether in this video series or any of the other great tech art channels on YouTube. A technical artist is basically a magician who builds tools that make creating art easier and faster. And like the avatar, we're the bridge between two worlds, art and engineering. For a tech artist, documentation is survival and organization is critical. The amount of knowledge that a tech artist needs to have is insane. And in order to thrive, you need two things. A master project with your completed resources. This could be a project with all your tests, but at a certain point, you may want to migrate finalized assets to another cleaner project, or perhaps several. And then a way to store information. I use Obsidian, but I know an artist who uses simple text notes stored in folders. The important thing is that you use the tools. These can be a great place to store hotkeys for programs you're learning to speed up your work. Workflows like how to add sockets to bones in Unreal, how to set up a PCG graph, or how to use that tool that you just built troubleshooting solutions for issues that you run into, and the most precious resource of all, magic checkboxes. Finally, I'd like to give you some suggestions from a fellow wizard about mindset. It's important to accept that the tools are limited. There are some things that are just too complex either for you or the tools or the time you have available. The simplest solution is always going to be the best. The more complex the solution, the more points of failure, and therefore the more fragile. It's better to settle for a solution that's good enough than to never finish because you can't get the machine to do exactly what you want it to do. Or worse, come up with a solution that only works if the player is doing and thinking exactly what you were when you set it up. People are crazy. A rule that keeps woodworkers from going broke is only buy the tool when you need it for your current project. And I think that that rule can also keep tech artists sane. So try to keep your research time focused on the project at hand and set a time limit that reflects how critical the piece of art is for your project or artistic development. This final suggestion is sort of counter to the last one, but magic is magic. You don't have to understand how every node works. There is time for trying to understand complex nodes as an exercise, but for some things, knowing that something happens is good enough. As a more artistically inclined artist, I'm grateful that the engineering sages have harnessed their power into mystic relics that I can, at times, wildly employ. So find random nodes, slap them in there, push values, and make Unreal crash, but remember to save first. And remember to document what you find, not just for yourself, but also for us fellow magicians who don't think like you. If you'd like to join a community whose goal is to do just that, I've started a Discord and I'd love to grow it into a space where we can share our discoveries and push each other to make the greatest magic of all. Fun. I hope to see you in the next episode where we'll explore the foundations of creating global mass and make this waterfall without a single UV. As always, work hard and play harder.